Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. How are you guys doing? My name is Edith and you can call me Mama B or you can call me Editorial and her name is Bernice. You can call her Princess Bernice or you can have Bernice. <laughs> right? She loves camera. Yes. You say yes, I love the camera. <laughs> okay guys, so my baby is actually a little better. Mm -hmm. She's a little better today, and today is our day two of our, uh, of our treatments. Okay, so we're gonna be giving her injection for um, um, uh, whatever stuff that is happening to her right now. Uh, we're gonna be talking about that. I wanted to talk about it, you know, um, the other day, but because she was crying too much, and I don't, you know, we we're just out of our mood. We're just out of our mood so that's why we were not able to i was actually not able to talk about to talk about it here yeah? so let me grab the medicine the nurse is here already so let's grab the medicine and start so let's do that
Okay, tomorrow. Bye. You, say bye. Benny, say bye. <laughs> say bye. <laughs> say bye. <laughs> She's very strong. <laughs> You're gonna be feeling better. Better. <laughs> <laughs> so are you okay? Okay guys, so I actually did not have time to you know kind of explain and actually um give you guys a sort of a, an explanation what actually happened to baby Bernice. Look at her. My oh, baby, she loves the camera. Benny, say hi, guys. Dad, dad. She say hi, guys. <laughs> so, on the second day of her treatment, like she really, really improved. And then the third day, she was really feeling better. In fact, from the very first day of her treatment, you know, she. The purging actually reduced drastically. Okay, it actually reduced, not as if it stopped. And then the second day, the purging reduced more. You know, initially it was like when she eats, she's gonna pull. You know, ow! You're using your elbow to press me, and it's painful. So, um, excuse Bernice's hair. It's not every day I have to be tying her hair because her scalp is not really, really strong like that. Okay, so I just have to give her some breathing space. You know, I did this hair yesterday. I you know her hair is actually very, very soft. So, it's it's scatter. It scatters every day. So, I just have to hold it every day. But today, I just decided to give, give her hair some breathing space and not tight mm. and not tight so that I, I, I scalp would rest okay so Venice was budging a whole lot and then she was pulling the food that she eats even without the food digesting so most of the time the food does not in fact all of the time the food does not digest you know and then she'll put it like that say for instance you give her i give her mashed potato or mashed yam she'll just put it like that the only difference that will be there is just that the, the, the color will be the color of the you know um, excrete would be looking different but when she pull like that she would literally be feeling weak so she get to feel weak and then she was actually coughing i'm sure because of 
maybe the previous you know weather that just left that is the amatan because she was cough coughing since that time you know so when this lady came and then gave her don't tell my book don't tell my jota baby i'm jotting so when this lady came and gave her that injection you know and then the few tablets like the whole paracetamol that i used to give her stopped because i was actually giving my baby paracetamol four times a day when i kind of complain to people they kind of say okay because she's growing it you know because she's growing it they will kind of tell me oh yeah that is how it does you know she's growing it and that is how babies purge when they grow it maybe other babies purge when they grow it you know and then when i complain and say she's always having fever so so you know some people tend to be like don't worry it's normal it's to stop it's because she's growing it you know you know so when i now had to take her to the hospital the second time you know i took her to general hospital i'm going to be making a video about that i took her to general hospital and then i met a pediatrician and then i asked the lady if a baby is teething would the baby be you know having fever all of the time and the lady said no if the baby is teething would the baby have to be pulling like purging and all of that and then she said no so that was when i now i was now like no it is not just it it is the fact that something is not right and the, the way she's pulling it she kind of loses strength and she's losing fat you know she's reducing she's looking smaller by the day you know so that was why when i now said mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. so that was really what was happening to my baby she was literally you know excreting like she would she would pull like seven to eight times in a day like a baby that was actually not the first time this kind of thing happened the last time it happened i took her to one private hospital and then that's actually a story for another day because i can't even phantom what those people were just doing with with with, with me and my baby and i don't know if if this that's actually that doctor was was I had experience of treating children you know is a pediatrician you know so that was one of the things that happened and for me to how to call this lady it got to me here i couldn't just sit back anymore i couldn't just relax i couldn't just bear it that is just why and that was what was happening and for now you can already see that my baby has recovered a whole lot she's playing something that she usually does not do you know she does not play she just she'll just lie down on my body you know from morning till evening and i'm like is this tit is this how tit used to worry people because i know beverly did not go through all of this he is playing i want to go and wash some of her toy that's why i don't want to give it to her now i was editing a video which is this you know and then i'm um, actually making her food so a lot of things okay so i want to go and wash her toy that's why i don't want to give her any toy i must make sure that her toys are washed every day because see the thing is that it's god that is actually protecting children because this toy even if i wash it when she plays with it the thing will still fall on the floor you know and all of that so that's why i'm like i have to wash the ones that i'm supposed the ones that are water friendly i wash them every day the ones that are not i wash them once a week like those you know those are um, teddy bears those ones that has foam inside you know so that's just what happened and for today she is done with the sweetie she is done with the treatment and she is okay i want you to wear her nika <laughs> because there's heat this is this is dry season in nigeria this is dry season 
in in this place okay so oh, everywhere is hot and as you can see these people no one give us light so what are we going to do just have to wear her something very simple that would help her have some fresh hair yes oh, baby yes oh, baby so let me go and mash your your, your food for you okay all right you guys thank you so much for all of your prayers thank you for your love thank you for all of the support thank you for all of the things you said to us the encouragement to me and everything that you have done thank you may god bless you thank you so much for watching this video